Dude, that would be I, I think sick. that would actually That'd be work. So good. Oh. <laughs> like what the fuck? That'd be actually crazy. What is up? Welcome back to another exciting episode of EDM Chatters. Kind viewers, please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like our video. And, you know, even throw us a thumbs up. You know, just uh, kind of give us some incentive. Give us give us some uh, positive feedback to let us know we're doing a good job. Uh, on today's episode, uh, we, we were trying to come up with a concept for today's episode. And we were thinking about, like, DJs collaborating and, like, what, would that, what that would be like and, like, picking our dream collaborations, but that's been done. What I did instead is I took my handy dandy trusty little pickle Rick hat and I wrote a bunch of DJ names down and together with Vince, I'm going to pick them out of a hat two at a time and just see if the collaboration works or if it doesn't or if, or if, you know, some, somewhere in between. So Vince, are you ready for our first pair oh, of DJs? I am totally ready. And I, let's just, the rec, this is going down in history, right? We're going to yeah. predict the future dream collapse. Oh, I, I, I threw in one or two curveballs. This is the future of the industry. So I, 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 right I, here. I, I, you know I, I really, mean? I really hope I get a curveball. Okay. Our first artist. Let's do it. Above right and on. beyond, above and beyond. Okay. And adventure club. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so you're gonna have to remind me. Yeah. What does above and beyond sound like? Like I I, I haven't listened to the very I mean, it's like very emotional. It I wouldn't say it's trance, but it's not okay. quite house either. It's is it very... festival house? No. Okay. It's like if if I if I had to compare it, if I gave, if I had to give you the closest comparison, it'd be it'd okay. be trance. Um, okay, okay. But I, I think that collaboration could actually work really, really well because Adventure Club has done some really melodic stuff. And above yeah, and beyond yeah. with those chords, plus Adventure Club's, like, bass. Ooh, I think that could mm -hmm. actually work really well. Adventure Club, they dabble in a lot of different genres, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, audience, you're going to have to forgive me because <laughs> I I think the last time I listened to Adventure Club was back in 2016-ish. Um, I, th I think they have a new album coming out. Or maybe um, it already did, and I just didn't. So I'm not really too familiar with their work as of late, but yes. I can I can definitely like from what I listened to way back when they're they're super vibey. Like mm -hmm. they've done dubstep, right? It, oh yeah, really oh correctly, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. like, but it's not just like bass heavy music. It's more of like you said, melodic and like it's, it's, it's it can be, it can be and, yeah, it can be yeah. very melodic. Um, I mean, uh, <clears throat> one of their last collaborations was uh, I mean, with Bear Grylls, so that one was a little bit heavier. Okay. But then they did yeah. another one with, with another one with Kaivon, another one with like the they released one with Armin Hammer and Halion, mm. which was super super melodic and like uplifting. So I think that pairing with Above and Beyond would actually work really well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's hope we see that in. In, in a couple Adventure of Club and Above and Beyond coming to you. All and right. You can say we called it or whatever. <laughs> exactly. All right. Yeah. I'm, shaking, I'm shaking up next steps. Round, okay, round next, two. I don't know how many next. rounds we're doing, but. I, I wrote like 30 names. We don't have to get through all of them. Until the hat is up. Yes. I, oh, I got, okay. I got the, I got the curveball. The okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the other name first, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The, the yeah, DJ. Oh. <laughs> This is actually this could actually work. Infected mushroom. Ooh. And limp biscuit. What the? <laughs> Dude, that I, would be. I think sick. that would actually That'd work. Be so good. Oh. <laughs> like what the fuck? That'd be actually crazy. Can you imagine like Fred Fred Durst rapping on like infected mm -hmm. mushroom yeah. side trance with like the live guitar and drums. Yeah, yeah. With the, that live show would actually be pretty sick, dude. That, oh my, like yeah. imagine like infected mushroom just shredding on this on stage. Uh, Doof Dev, who's the bald one, the lead singer, just goes. And now, why don't you bring in a special guest? We have a new collaboration coming out in a month. Please welcome Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit. Done, done. <laughs> yeah, done. That'd be that'd be amazing. <laughs> 
And that's okay. actually a good pairing. That could actually happen. Yeah, like, no, that, that could definitely actually, that. yeah. Holy yeah. shit, we're two, we're two for two. Yeah. We haven't had a failure. Like, a lot of the... <laughs> I mean, so like, well, I mean, th think of like Above and Beyond and Limp Bizkit. Yeah. Above and yeah. Beyond and Limp Bizkit, like, I don't know about that one. But Infected Mushroom and Limp Bizkit? Nothing wrong with me. Nothing, well, nothing wrong with me. All right. Good times. That's, that's, yeah. Our next artist. Alice in, Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, I just, I just peeked at the names. Can't do that. Can't do that. Alice in Wonderland and... Bonobo. Bonobo. Are, are, are you familiar with Bonobo? No, but I think I've seen him live. Yes. Yes. So like, ve yeah, very, 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 very housey. Uh, yeah. Very, a little bit of melodic house, but like classic, just like house music. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, totally. I don't know that. And then Alice could, in Wonderland, she does more like future bass and right. Typically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this would be like a, like, a um a minimal like house like album or something. Yeah. Or whatever. Just kind of like stripped I, I, back, kind of like a zoo vibe or something. Yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. and uh, Allison. Al Allison also plays the cello. Ooh. So that paired with a, like a house track or something. Yeah, and then Allison's also vocals, like yeah, maybe it'd be like Bonobo featuring Alice in Wonderland. So it's like mainly his production with like her jumping on with like the strings and the and the vocals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could work. It could work. Mm -hmm. It would definitely be unexpected. Like Bonobo and Alice in Wonderland collaboration being announced. Like what? Yeah, that'd be so out of nowhere, right? Like, yeah. But, I mean, Skrillex collaborated with Fortet, so, you know, mm -hmm. the, 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 the realm of possibilities. I, I really, I really want a failure co combination, though. I, this I look really, at this outrageous kind of... I, yeah, I really... Because, like, I, I got some in here that just would not work well together. What is this, All round right. four, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, round... Yeah, this is round four. Okay. 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 Okay, here we go. This could work or it could or may not. Sudden death. Okay. And Nah, this works. Sullivan King. Yeah, they <laughs> haven't they worked together before? Or... I don't I don't think they have. I, I don't yeah. I don't really I don't really think we need to talk about that one that much. Yeah, like that's... their their dubstep, that's gonna work. That's a given. That's gonna be that's, that's... A, that's a given. Okay. All right, we'll just we'll just move right along. <laughs> but on the off chance those two do collaborate, um, heard it here first. Yeah, world premiere. World premiere. Yeah. Well, yeah. See, now we're selling. Trying to think of like show. actual dream collabs, but it's already happened. So like. I know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gasafelstein. Ooh. Okay, Gasafelstein and. Okay. Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> okay, Gasafelstein and Martin Garrix. What? Now that Martin Garrix is like in a different wheelhouse than Gasafelstein. Yeah, but you I don't know. know. Gasafelstein's last album was kind of poppy, but it? it was a little bit. But I also feel like I might be like trying to rationalize this, like and like trying to make it work when I don't. I I I could never see these two working together, honestly. Is like because obviously there's like like the really like dark techno, mm -hmm. and then Martin yeah. Garrix is like very main stage house poppy kind of like uplifting da, 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 kind yeah. of vibe. So Martin Garrix would have to tap into his his uh, his emotions and the the darkness within or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, you know you, what you, you, you don't think Martin Garrix has a dark side that <laughs> all his music is happy. It's like Zed. It's all happy music. I know. Maybe just like dark music. Or, or maybe it's like one of those like Simple Plan songs that like sounds happy, but it's actually like I'm talking about like what is it? Was it Simple Plan or the or was it Third Eye Blind that had like uh the song like it was like very oh what no it wasn't Simple Plan it was I think it was Third Eye Blind like a happy song but it was like about killing yourself. Semi Charm oh. no 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 uh, wasn't Semi Charm kind of life about being a heroin addict or something. I don't think I've listened to that song. 
Did you put like? <laughs> did you put like some forty one or like? No. Or uh, I, th I think boy in there. I was thinking I I was thinking about Fall Out Boy. I saw them on my like list of shows, and I was like mm. maybe, mm. but like I, I felt like Limp Biscuit was like enough of a curveball. They're like, yeah. but God, Limp Biscuit infected mushroom works so well. So Martin Garrix and Gus uh, not the uh, not the greatest combination. Yeah, not a good pairing probably. Um, we we got a couple more. We got a couple more. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Okay, Lindsey Sterling. Okay. I'm. There's a name in here that I want to come up. Let's see if I can get it. Mm. There's a name in here that I really want to pair. Oh no! Oh no! What is it? <laughs> Lindsey Sterling and Yellow Claw. And Yellow Claw? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Of all the collabs, no, that would be no. uh, that'd be a weird track. Okay, th this is our this is our first like absolute mm -hmm. like because Epstein Martin Garrix kind of like, kinda like oh, eh. yeah, yeah. Lindsey Sterling and Yellow Claw, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a train like, wreck of a. Uh, she is like a very wow. devout. She is a very devout Christian too. And uh, Yellow Claw. Like imagine like her coming out on stage with a vi violin, like doing her like like ballet oh, dancing yeah. on stage, and then the guys from Yellow Claw come out, and go Yellow mother fucking claw, and she's like what? I didn't All the shows are just PG, PG rated or whatever. Oh god, or it's like Youth Pastor Ryan on TikTok and Yellow Claw just corrupts Lindsay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That uh, that. I, I'm glad we had like a complete failure before mm -hmm. yeah. in this episode. That was absolutely, yeah. What do you say? One more final round. Uh, well, we'll see how this goes. I, I think could, this could be our last one. Okay. Sub focus. Okay. Sub focus. So drum and bass. And, bass. Mm -hmm. and okay. glitch mob. Ooh, has Ooh. Uh, has Glitch Mob ever done drum and bass? I don't think they've really. I mean, I think they've done stuff at higher tempos, but I don't know if they've ever done like drum and bass. Ooh, I would like to see that. That'd I would neat. like to see that. Because like they... Glitch Mob has such like intricate like chord progressions and effects on their sounds, and then Sub Focus is like very melodic and technically very talented. So that would oh. I could actually really enjoy that. Yeah. 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 I would really sub, like that, actually. Sub focus and glitch mob. All right. Let's do one more. One more, then we're. Okie dokie. Oh, well, one. Nickelback. One. Oh, God. I should have put Nickelback in there. Or Smash Mouth. Smash. I was also thinking Smash Mouth since they did just do a track with Timmy Trumpet. So. Oh, yeah. I haven't listened to that yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, don't be in any rush. It's not like a. All right. Great one. Uh, San Holo. Okay. And... Was there anything on the back of that? No, that was... Okay. San Holo and... <laughs> DJ Snake? I mean, they could make it work. But I think they could make it work. San Holo is more of a... But... He, he does more vibey music. Kind of like... Yeah, Son Holo yeah. and DJ Snake. Yeah. Uh. Like the most mainstream like producer with like a more like indie indie, indie sound. like melodic. Yeah. Ah. I do want to see what like what it, <laughs> what it, what it would be like. Uh, uh I can't even speak. An independent like an indie sounding DJ Snake song, you know? Yeah, not, not what he's he he kind of makes. Yeah, like that kind of thing. I think he could do it, but like I I just don't see that happening like naturally. It'd be like a turning point in his career, like oh. that it would. Yeah, like I I really I really don't see either of them like hitting the other one up and be like, yo, do you want to do a col do you want you want a collab? Like yeah. I just don't see it happening. But that was our last pair. Um, so. Before we like sign off and everything else, so I'm gonna tell you, Lindsey Sterling, the name that I wanted to come out was Elenium. Ooh, that yeah. would be that's that would be that would be great. That could totally happen. So I'd definitely see that. 
a couple of the other names in here, one I'm sad didn't get called, uh, Porter Robinson. Uh, also had Nero, Grizz, mm. Odeza, Rez, Seven Lions, RL Grime. We had Swarm, 1788L, Tiesto, Subtronics, uh, Netsky, Jaws. Uh, did I already say Odeza? I think I might have. Dead Mouse, Jaws, Flume, Justice. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, and, and Zed. Mm. And Nightmare. And Zoo. And the Chainsmokers. But yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I think that about covers it. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you think about these collaborations. If you think any of them would work or wouldn't work and why. Also, let us know who your dream collaborations are in the comments below. Because as tired as it is, we still like to hear from you guys. Mm. And, you know... Maybe and one Matt, day. Matt will personally let them know about what you guys think. And make within it within reason. If if I have make it happen. I promise you. I can make it happen. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching EDM Chatters. This has been Matt and Vince. We've been doing some stuff. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>